Oh, what's up Rebels? What's up Pride Crew? Man, it's hot. Hot in Charlotte. Uh, I hear it's uh, hotter in other parts of the country though. Uh, so I guess I shouldn't complain. It's like, it's starting to cool down a little bit. That's why it's windy. Get that high pressure coming in. So uh, I hear it's like over 100 other places. It's like 90 here. 90 here for us is like, meh, that's all right. <laughs> it was hotter earlier this week. Man, I forgot my sunglasses, and it's so fucking bright out here. Anyways, Sunday walk and talk. Here comes uh, idiot number one. Uh, so, what is up? What's going on in your world? Our world? Man, fun week at the gym. Kinda, yes, no. Uh, training going good. Man, I would, Lindsay and I like, killed ourselves in the gym this week. I don't know if it was just the heat, volume, how much we're lifting. I don't know. Just rough. What a rough week. Legs are shot. Shoulders are shot. Back shot. Fuck. I feel like I'm falling apart. Just pushing pretty hard. So uh, training's going good. Um, a couple of cool things show up to the gym. Most exciting. We got a new vacuum cleaner. You know, you know you're an adult when you get excited about a new vacuum cleaner. How ridiculous is that? So, happy to have a new vacuum cleaner in the gym. Keep the gym nice and clean. Uh, we got a little bit of carpet in the gym, hopefully. That'll be covered with rubber floor over the course of the next 12 months or so. Uh, but we still have the turf. We have to vacuum the turf. Turf hasn't been vacuumed in fucking forever um so got a new vacuum turf looks beautiful thanks to Lindsay. she's the uh, ultimate cleaner but um what else we got oh so the big thing uh the two big things we got also in the gym this week aside from a new vacuum cleaner is a security camera system i'll get to that in a second and our freezer yeah, We've got a freezer at the gym. We were planning to do uh, ice baths. We were gonna do a uh, we were gonna do uh, a freezer and keep it stocked up with ice. Man, I even looked into uh, ice delivery companies, but like their minimum order for bags of ice is like insanity. Like it's just insane. It's huge. Uh, so like you'd have to buy. I mean, it's cheap. It's only like 75 bucks and you get like just pounds and pounds and pounds of ice. Like 200 pounds of ice or some shit. They're uh, five pound bags, I think. The freezer that you have to get to hold that much ice is just fucking huge. So I'm like, you know, and that freezer is gonna run like 24 hours a day. And I'm like, fuck. Man, it's gonna be so much money. So, you know, I'm thinking about it. And uh, then it comes out. I started uh, doing a little bit of research on getting ice and shit. Uh, we're going to turn up and go this way. April. So, starting to research ice and stuff. And uh, man, people figured out that if you take a chest freezer, you put a pond liner in it, you can fill it with water, and then you put the freezer on a timer, and the... <laughs> You'll keep the water below 50 degrees, but it won't ever go below 32, so it won't freeze. Fucking genius. The power of the internet, YouTube. So, uh, we got ourselves a freezer, bought it off a nice guy out in the country. Said it was his grandmother's. She passed away. And he didn't really have room for it, so he was getting rid of it. So I got a nice uh, big old Sears I bought a Sears freezer. It's great. The inside liner is like totally like 1970s. It's awesome. Damn thing works like a charm. I mean, it works. So uh, we've had it on for 48 hours and uh, the water today was down to 58 degrees. I was in it yesterday, it was 68 and it was damn cold. 
it felt amazing. Your hips hurt, your legs hurt, post-workout. Man, that 68 degree water, oh, I mean, it felt incredible. Today it's down to 58. So I'm expecting tomorrow it'll be below 50. Um, and uh, we're gonna put a ton of salt in it, tiny bit of chlorine, and a little bit of alcohol, and uh, it'll keep the water clean so it doesn't get shitty. I mean, we'll change it out uh, every few weeks, but you know, we gotta keep the water. We gotta put a little bit of chemical in the water. I really didn't want to, I wanted to keep it all salt, but a little bit of research we did, we can put just a little bit. You'll barely even notice it. Tiny bit of chlorine, a little bit of alcohol, we'll be fine. So uh, that water is gonna be cold as hell tomorrow. Then it goes on a timer. Um, so it'll only be on for like two hours at night and that's it, it'll stay nice and cool. So man, uh, yeah, get ready for a full, uh, a full video story on that uh, in the coming weeks. But that's our one thing. And then the other big thing we got, security cameras. It really sucks that I had to get security cameras, um, but that's the world that we live in today. Um, you know, we had security cameras in the old gym and they definitely came in useful. Um, some things have gone missing over time and uh, just, you know, random sketchy ass people walking into the gym and shit like that. It's good to have the cameras. What sucks is when you have to buy the cameras though, because your equipment is going missing. People are stealing things from the gym. So we have a long list of things being stolen from the gym. Uh, one of them, the top, is uh, two Velcro belts have gone missing from the gym, which really sucks because people go to lift and the damn belts are gone. So somebody's stealing the belts. So the belts have been stolen. Uh, next thing, water. Uh, there are people who apparently think that water is free. The water that comes out of your tap is free, and even that's not free, you still gotta pay for it. But people think that the bottled water that we sell, uh, that they can just, you know, take shit. And that's not, uh, that's not the case, I'm sorry. Um, you know, obviously, our trainers are a different story. Um, you know, our, they're not really our employees, but whatever. The trainers, you know, everything's pretty much half price. Uh, but uh, either shit, shit just going missing. So then uh, next thing is uh, towels. Now, if all we had at the gym were white towels, I could see it. People were gonna take those, use them in the garage and shit, take them home. But of course, everything in the gym is red and black, including our towels. And the only psychos who have black towels at home are me. So I don't know why you would steal red and black towels to take home other than the fact that you're an asshole. So a bunch of towels have gone missing, uh, a bunch of water's missing, we got Velcro belts missing, there's shit missing from the gym. Uh, things are going from the front lifting room to the back room and not being put back, things like that. So we're gonna be monitoring the gym a little bit closer and we're gonna be inching closer to uh, 24 hour access that will be a reality at some point in time. I don't know when, but we will need cameras to monitor the gym if we go to 24 hour access. So uh, security system, security cameras are going in. Uh, I got six of them in so far. I got two more I got to put in. And uh, I got some details to wrap up with the wiring and uh, cameras will be in. So uh, back to gym business and training. Uh, Lindsay's training is going good. Uh, she's alternating between training in her suit and not training in her suit. Uh, so we got that. Um, all of her people are doing good. Power lifters. Uh, we got some news coming in for the O-lifting team. It's gonna be uh, very cool. We have a little partnership going on and uh, that'll be very, very cool for the power lift for the uh, O-lifters at the gym. And kettlebell's going good. We're getting everything ready for strength fest. Um, Shit's rolling. So uh, it's been 
it sucks that uh, we've had to take care of certain things at the gym, um, you know, but we've been open for 10 years and, you know, things are starting to break uh, and we're having to fix things and replace things finally. And uh, that sucks because that's money that we could be putting towards new shit, but instead we have to put it towards replacing old shit. Um, but that's life, you know? Um, it sucks that I gotta put cameras in because people are stealing shit. But uh, maybe I'll catch somebody and somebody will be in big trouble. So that's what's going on at the gym. Uh, other than that, uh, all of our cars are broken, so we're working on cars. Um, got that going on. We have a very, very busy month of October. Uh, lots of travel, um, vacations, and uh, training seminars. Um, all sorts of shit going on in August. Uh, we'll have the ski half marathon coming up in the next couple of weeks. Um, we will have uh, Strength Fest coming. And vacations oh uh summer games summer games is gonna be coming soon next month um so we got all that going on uh and that's it i think um nothing else big to report uh big uh our big message for this week what's our big message for this week just keep working that's our that's it man it just i don't want to call it a grind because you know, I enjoy what I do, but you gotta stay on that grind. It's a, it's a non-stop thing. You just, it never ends. It's week after week. You can either let that, you know, weigh you down or you can look forward to it. And I look forward to it every week. So um, big things happening, big things coming. Um, you know, lots of stuff going on and uh, that's exciting. Always evolving, always trying to learn, uh, always moving forward. And that's, uh, that's the goal, you know, just to get better 1% at a time and eventually uh, you'll be 100% better. And that's the goal. So always, always just staying positive, learning, getting better, moving forward. That's my big message for this week for you guys. So back home with the idiot, the four-legged one, and uh, that's that. So thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Peace.